ESSYI is the Environmental Studies Summer Youth Institute. It's a reflection of one of the things that we're best at here at the colleges, where we have 30 or 35 faculty members who contribute to environmental studies. And we have 20 or 22 faculty members each summer teaching in the context of ESSYI. Taking a semester's worth of work and shoving as much of that as possible into an afternoon, right? That, that forces some, a whole lot of connections to be made in the students' minds. Environmental studies is just the nice combination between the humanities and the science aspects in a nice friendly bundle. I start to know the environment is not just environment, it's like in a lot of other aspects, economical or ethical. We get students from all over the world and, and many states and bringing those different perspectives together is, is, is really fun. So students not only have the opportunity to engage in science and collect data and be out in the field, but they're also thinking about environmental economics. Um, they're looking at issues of energy, environmental sustainability, uh, philosophy, religion, and nature, um, but also engaging in the arts, and that might be uh, through theater or dance. It's programming, it's events, it's structure, it's so based on that and it's needed to because of the time limits. But also, it's needed to, to really have that experience of like interdisciplinary feel. So all of these things that ESSYI learns about are classes and our courses that are offered at HWS. And each professor takes their session and takes their usual discipline and kind of works an environmental twist into it. Uh, and that was kind of the whole idea of ESSYI, to kind of give students um, little clips of each um, topics and disciplines that are related to environmental sustainability. When they're looking at a water sample under a microscope for the first time, you see that light bulb go off of them realizing that they've always just uh, taken for granted this water. It's also super cool that it focuses on not just going out and IDing trees or uh, or doing the science, like the actual STEM parts, which there is that, there's like the science parts, but there's also the social aspect, all of it. Everyone here is very enthusiastic about the environment, and we all know that like we need to do something now if we want to make a change um, in the future, because where we're heading currently isn't where we should be. Like everyone has like that drive to make a change in a way. People are so friendly and you really learn about how it works, about the different aspects, the different points of view that affect the environment and how human condition and how human activities can influence nature in general. Then they're given a project, and the project asks them to create an eco-lodge in the Adirondacks Park. As part of preparing them to do that analysis, we take them into rural areas in the Adirondacks. We take them on a hike up Mount Goodnow. They also uh, do a canoe trip through three small connected lakes in the Adirondacks. They go and see a working mine site that has been partially reclaimed and is ripe for further reclamation. All this information then goes into the student's design of their eco-lodge. When they get back to campus, they then present their plans to the staff here on campus and we give them a lot of feedback. It's an opportunity before you hit college to try college and not even just try college, but you get an opportunity to do field work that, that most students on campus here aren't doing until maybe they're, maybe they're a junior, a rising junior or something. That's what I really love about ESSYI is it's full circle, it's very holistic, which I think is an important start for students to start practicing. It should not be an whether or not you're interested or not. I think it should be fundamentally a universal aspect of our humanity of trying to solve climate change and trying to solve the issues that our generation is facing now. So it's a really good opportunity to, to, to learn and get the resources necessary for solving these issues. And what we want to do is help them understand, well, what does that look like in the context of environmental studies? And what does it mean to ask questions from perspective of different areas? Or do work and contribute to society from the perspective of different areas? So you might, not only do we have students who want to be scientists, but we have students who want to go into policy, or we have students who want to work with in the context of their communities, or we have students who, who uh, want to be writers or artists and, and express and challenge people uh, in a variety of different ways. And I think that's one of the best things that um, our students take away from this experience is really understanding the diversity of what's possible in terms of their own interest in the environment.